This episode of Queen of the Ratchet is being sponsored by Soap. If you haven't washed your hands, don't even think about coming near me, bitch. We're also being sponsored by Time, because at the end of the day, ain't nobody got time to be getting sick right now. Oh, your man's a ho. That song is one of the many songs that Queen of the Ratchet has done. You can find that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, just to name a few. Go get your life, bitches. And we're back. I'm Coella DeVille from Disney's 101 Dalmatians. And all I have to say is let the shade begin, hoes. Let the shade begin. I'm Lady Tremaine, the incomparable stepmother from Disney's Cinderella, and I hope you bitches have been soaking your pussies in some vinegar. A standing ovation is always necessary when you're dealing with a bitch like me. <laughs> I'm Medusa from Disney's The Rescuers. Girl, ain't nobody about to stand for a bitch they don't know about. You come into the room ready to hate on me, but you know what they say? Your haters are your biggest fans. Would you like an autograph? I would like for you to shut the fuck up. And I would like for you to update your cheap ass wig collection. But you know what? We can't always get what we want in this world. Go ahead and keep running your mouth and I'm going to run my fist right into it. You know what, Tremaine? Your ass is due for a chin check. Would you like it now or later? <laughs> you know what? Even during a pandemic, you hoes are still petty as hell. Tremaine, what you need to learn how to do is social distance yourself away from my presence. Don't make me cough on your ass and send you into a frenzy. Ain't nobody about to be coughing on anybody because I will get my pistol out the car. It is springtime and the pollen is high. You just can't shoot somebody for having to sneeze or cough. Damn, like hell I can't. You better hold that shit in or I'm going to pop a cap in that ass. Can y'all believe that people are still going out in downtown Fairland? Daisy Duck invited me to a get together the other day. Did y'all get the invitation? I did, but I politely declined because that's that sewer rat Minnie Mouse was gonna be there. So what you're saying, Coella, is the reason you declined wasn't because there's a pandemic going on? No, I declined because I just don't like the bitch. Mickey and Minnie Mouse have always been nice to me. I have nothing bad to say about them. I agree. They've actually reached out to me several times to ask how I was getting through this pandemic. Y'all ever been to somebody's house and lost track of the roach you were watching? That's what it's like to go in Mickey and Minnie's house. Coella, that is very disrespectful. You wouldn't want nobody talking about the roaches in your house. Well, first of all, there ain't no roaches in my house, bitch. Okay, bitch, whatever you say. Well, what are you trying to say right now, Herpy Puss? I'm saying you need to worry about your own roach infestation before you try to come for somebody else's. Oh, okay, I guess you're not that pressed or concerned about it because you sure been in my house the past couple of months. Herpy Puss, my question to you is, if you supposed to be a rich bitch, why are you sleeping on somebody else's couch? My bank account is fine. Worry about your own negative balance, bitch. Stop flexing on social media and flex on your goddamn bills because it looks to me like you're about to be broken living on the street. Worry about the soap opera in your life before you try to give advice on mine, okay, ho? Herpy puss is just going through a little financial trouble. It's not that big of a deal. Stop telling my business, Coella. It's nobody's goddamn business what I'm going through. You're the the one that accused me of having roaches because you wanted to defend that sewer rat Minnie Mouse. All I said is I don't have a problem with Minnie. In my talks with her, she seems to not have a problem with you. But that's my problem. You shouldn't be talking about me with somebody that doesn't like me. I was your friend first, okay? You need to pick a side, bitch. You know what, Coella? You are such a hypocrite. Last week you said that you didn't want to get involved in my beef with Tremaine. Now you want me to pick a side. Which is it, bitch? All I'm saying is you wouldn't even be friends with Minnie if I didn't introduce you to that sewer rat. Okay, and I can say anytime that Tremaine has disrespected you, I've always had your back. So you expect me to have your back, but you can't have mine? What type of friendship is this? It's like it's one-sided. I mean, she does have a point, Cuella. Sometimes it does seem like it has to be your way or no way at all. Listen here, Kelly and Michelle. 
I need y'all to fall back to oohing and on and realize who the people really came to see. Girl, bye. The petty audience has filled your head with so much bullshit. You still ain't nobody, ho. And still out here writing fraudulent checks. Ain't nobody pressed or concerned about you, bitch. You know what? One of our listeners pointed out that I have a podcast, talk show, and I'm running for Fairytale President. What the fuck are you hoes doing but sitting here hating on me? I've always congratulated your bitch ass for wearing many hats. And with this coronavirus pandemic going on, I think it's best for everybody to wear a lot of financial hats. Do y'all know that Santa Claus laid off all... All his staff without pay until the coronavirus was done. Ain't that a bitch? How are the elves and reindeer supposed to feed their family? Well, the T is he told them to file for unemployment. Well, the unemployment office in Fairytale Land is closed due to everybody trying to file. Well, ain't that some shit? I just talked to the Easter Bunny yesterday and he said that Easter is officially canceled. He ain't trying to catch shit from your kids. The Easter Bunny hated his job anyway. This is like a vacation for him. Well, apparently he's working from home this year. He's gonna hide Easter eggs all over the internet for your kids. Well, at least he's still getting paid unlike some people. Listen, I have a petty question to all our American listeners. Hot Cheetos are bad for the body, so why is one of them running y'all's country? Let me just say this to all you racist motherfuckers. Yes, it originated in China, but the technical term is COVID-19. Your mom originated in the back of a Buick Skylark, but we call her Judith. Now shut the fuck up. I'm officially changing the name of the coronavirus to the Trump virus. We didn't have these problems until he got in office. No, these problems have always existed. We were just blinded by the pixie dust to really pay attention to what was really going on. I just don't understand why fairytale creatures ain't taking this shit seriously. Y'all know the three blind mice were out gallivanting the street of fairytale land yesterday they need to stay their blind asses inside before they walk into somebody that had the coronavirus y'all know they can't see shit you know those three hoes are stubborn and don't like to pay attention to anything that's why i don't feel bad about stealing toilet tissue out their house coella that's wrong you stole toilet tissue out the three blind mice house it's not like they gonna see that it's missing they blind bitch well if they listen to this podcast they know now oh well i'll replace it eventually we gotta take care of each each other during these tough times. Coella, I asked you for a pack of oodles and noodles the other day and you tried to charge me $10. Bitch, I gotta take care of myself before I try to take care of you. But $10, bitch, a pack of oodles and noodles is only 20 cents in the grocery store. Well, tear your ass into a grocery store if you want to buy a packet of oodles and noodles, but if you want to buy them from Coella DeVille, <laughs> it's $10. You shouldn't be eating oodles and noodles anyway. You're gonna come out of quarantine looking 50 pounds heavy. Oh, well, I'd rather be fat and sassy and quarantined than bitter and bored and hungry. Well, to all you bitches that are bored and quarantined, good news. Mother Goose is coming out with the Instagram live every night where she dishes on all the hot topics that are taking place in fairytale land. Oh, you know that messy bitch got all the tea on the fairytale creatures. I can't wait. Speaking of tea, King Trident is banning the ocean from all fairy tale creatures. Why would you want to go to the beach anyway during a pandemic? I don't know, but word on the street is Ursula was kicked out of the ocean because she had several symptoms of the coronavirus. So where is she staying now? Girl, probably at an aquarium infecting them. She tried to call me and ask could she stay at my house. That bitch should have knew that wasn't going to happen. That's what I'm saying. Ursula already know how I am, so she shouldn't have wasted her time asking me that silly ass question. Speaking of your friends, you want to talk about our special guest today? Well, I wouldn't consider this bitch to be a friend, especially the way they stabbed me in the back. But our special guest today is Scar. I think the petty audience truly misses you and Scar's friendship. Well, cry river about it because I don't foresee me making up with that kitty cat. Don't you believe that it's better to forgive and forget? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me a third time, I'm just a foolish motherfucker. Why would you even want them to make up? Scar has been nothing but rude and nasty to you anyway, Herbert Puss. Because he's 
jealous of me and I feel bad for him. What the hell he got to be jealous about? Oh, that's easy. I have a vagina and he doesn't. Girl, bye. Ain't nobody jealous of your septic tank. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. I am late, girls, but... Better late than never, I always say. Let's not waste any time. Could you just introduce yourself to the people, please? Well, to all the listeners that don't know me, I'm the bitch that your man was with last night. I'm Scar from Disney's The Lion King. For you to be so basic, Scar, you have a big ego. Where does all that cockiness come from? Anytime I get the pleasure at looking at an ugly bitch like yourself, Herpy Puss, I realize how fortunate I actually am. Listen here, you messy-ass queen. Save the drama for your mama because I'm not the one today, okay? Whatever, girl. Tremaine, you're looking lovely as always. Coella, long time no see. That's by choice on my part. How are you, Scar? Fine, but I don't want to beat around the bush with you, so let's go ahead and get to those hard-hitting questions, girl. And our listeners don't have time for us to fake it till we make it, so let's just get right into it like you said. Why'd you stab me in the back, bitch? Just because I don't want to vote for you for Fairytale president doesn't mean I'm stabbing you in the back. It just means that I don't think you're fit to run Fairytale land, bitch. When you was fucking around with married men behind closed doors, I had your back, but you can't have mine during this election. Mufasa was unhappy and going through a divorce, and you knew that just as well as I did. I technically don't think it was okay that you were sleeping around with Mufasa knowing that he was married. And I technically don't care what you think because I don't see marriage the same way you do. Well, how do you see marriage, Scar? How about you explain yourself? I don't believe in monogamy and as creatures on this planet, I don't feel that we're supposed to be with one person. Were you ever in love with Mufasa or was it just something to keep you entertained? There's things that you all don't know about Mufasa. Mufasa was not this great man that y'all made him out to be. Scar, I always felt the reason you killed Mufasa was because you were jealous of his success. No, Mufasa said he was going to leave his wife and he didn't. So I killed him. So do you believe that you deserve to die on the lies and backstabbing that you did in our friendship? I believe that you and I view friendship differently. When things aren't going your way, then you don't want to be friends with that person anymore. You're kind of like NeNe Leakes, bitch. A lot of people in the petty audience believe that you and Maleficent stabbed Cruella in the back. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, what do you have to say about that, Scar? I would say that they don't know the full story, but you and I do. Cruella. Would you say that you miss Cruella at all, Scar? I have to say, even though you haven't been the nicest to me, I do miss your petty nursery rhymes. How about y'all do one for old times' sake? Oh, no, I don't think so. The magic just isn't there anymore. Well, I think the petty audience would love to hear it. Hmm. What do you say, Scar? One last petty nursery rhyme? I'm in if you're in, girl. Listen, ho, not today. Girl, you know I don't play. So you bet not step this way. Cause you know I'm cray cray. Listen, Listen ho, ho, not, not today. today. <laughs> Too bad you still a fake ass bitch. Get the hell out my studio, ho. Where is the red? You late once again. I thought you had a plan. This doesn't make no sense. I'm about to cut you. Cause the red is past due. That song was one of the many parodies that Queen of the Ratchet has done. You can listen to that song on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music. Go get your life, bitches. And we're back. Wrapping up this week's podcast. And all I have to say was that interview was pretty damn bitter, sweet, and fake. But I'm just going to say this. I do miss you two together. And I do think that you and Scar could work through your issues, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. I agree. This is a perfect opportunity for you and Scar to heal all of your issues with each other. This is a really lonely time and also a good time to reach out to people. No, 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 no. That's some bullshit. Listen, I'm going to say this to y'all in the petty audience. Don't let getting lonely make you reconnect with toxic people. You shouldn't drink poison just because you're thirsty. Oop. Well, and that's that. That is that. Listen, this is a perfect opportunity to reconnect with yourself. Nobody is going to fix you during this tough time. 
You got to fix your own goddamn self. And don't be worried about money. Everybody around the world is worried about money, bitch. Take it day by day and don't stress. If the only thing you did today was bust several nuts, then congratulations to you. I bet you feel good. With that being said, we just want to make sure that y'all are keeping it petty and positive. There's going to be a lot of content coming your way. Make sure you're following everything that is Queen of the Ratchet on social media and following our podcast. Till next time, bitches. <laughs>